Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 10월 15일 화요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. 청취자 여러분 오늘부터 감기 예방을 위한 무료 접종이 시작된다고 합니다. 어린이와 노인 그리고 임산부를 위한 인플루엔자 백신 무료 접종인데요. 질병관리본부에 따르면 12세 이하 어린이, 임산부 그리고 만 75세 이상 노인은 오늘부터 그리고 만 65세 이상 노인은 22일부터 보건소 등 전국 지정 의료기관에서 받으실 수 있다고 합니다. 이때 주민등록증 또는 국민건강보험증을 지참해야 하는데요. 접종 2주 뒤부터 독감 예방 효과가 나타나는 것을 고려해서 11월까지는 예방접종을 받는 것이 바람직하다고 질병관리본부는 밝혔습니다. 1번 immune system, 2번 computer system, 면역력 향상을 위해서 우리가 예방접종을 맞죠. What would that be in English? 1번 immune system or 2번 computer system. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 총 다섯 분께 추첨을 통해서 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 무료 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. Okay, then let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. The Nobel Prize in Economics was jointly awarded to Esther Duflo, Michael Kramer, and Abhijit Banerjee. 올해 노벨 경제학상의 영예는 아브지트 바네르지 교수, 에스테르 디플로 교수, 마이클 크레이머 교수에게 돌아갔습니다. Syria's army has agreed to help Kurdish forces as they battle an intensifying Turkish assault in northern Syria. 터키의 공격을 받은 쿠르드족의 지원 요청에 시리아 정부가 터키 국경 지역에 병력을 배치했습니다. The death toll from Typhoon Hagibis in Japan continues to rise amid ongoing rescue efforts. 제19 태풍 하기비스로 인한 일본의 인명 피해 규모가 계속 커지고 있습니다. Spain's Supreme Court has sentenced nine Catalan separatist leaders to up to 13 years in prison for sedition. 스페인 대법원이 카탈루냐 지방의 분리 독립을 추진했던 전 카탈루냐 자치정부 지도부의 중형을 선고했습니다. Conservative law professor Kais Said has beaten his contender in Tunisia's presidential election runoff. 튀니지 대선 결선 투표에서 Kais Said 후보가 압승할 것으로 전망됐습니다. And for more on the headlines is Steve Hatherley. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you. And you are so correct because it is cold in the morning, mm-hmm. hot in the afternoon. Yeah. It still feels like summertime in the afternoon, doesn't Sometimes it? Sometimes it does, yeah. yeah. Especially if you're standing in a spot where there's no shade mm. and no breeze. I know. <laughs> the sun is really hot. Yeah. But then again, at night, it gets really cold again. Mm, which means you can fall ill during these changing seasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, the cold and the flu are not exactly the same. Yes. But You can get free flu shots if you are one of the following. Under 12. I am not. Pregnant. I am not. Over 75. Thankfully, I am not. Or over uh, 65. That would be a different date. But uh, either 
Either or. I do not qualify for the free flu (laughs) shot. You have to pay then. Yes, that's right. But please still get it. I Uh, will too. You know, I'll be honest. I don't do it. I know that I probably should. And have I'm not, you had the, had, had the flu? Uh, I have had, because it's perium, right? The flu? Or is that no, pneumonia? That's, that's pneumonia. That's pneumonia. Yeah, sh- that's even more serious, yes, right? Yes, yeah, I had about the, yeah, right, 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 right. Mm. Yeah, I had that when I was a kid. But oh. it's, it's just my personality. And don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting that other people don't get the flu shot mm. at all. I'm just saying that for me, I try not to take medicine if I have a choice. I see. I try not to go to the yeah. hospital if mm. I have a choice. Mm. I rarely go to the hospital for anything. Wow. Yeah. I had the flu a couple of years ago and I had to wear a mask at all times for a couple of days mm. because it's highly contagious. Mm-hmm. I mean there's nothing deadly about it but still you you know I felt it was definitely different to having a cold because I felt sick yeah. all day. Uh-huh. I had a really high fever, I felt nauseous and it was just a miserable experience and on top of that I had to look after my kids so it was like just the worst really. I, I love that expression you shared better to prevent than lament. Yeah. Uh, there's another similar expression that's maybe, that? maybe even more common than that. Mm. Better to be safe than sorry. Ah, better safe than sorry, Mazel. Oh, uh, the way I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the way 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 I'm going to go to to dress these days. You know, especially if you leave the house early in the morning and you don't come back home until late at night. But please do remember this is a season to layer up a little bit, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Kim Myung Nim says, 엄마에게 독감 주사 맞으라고 전화해야겠어요. 감사합니다. That's right. If you know anyone that falls under those categories that we mentioned, please tell them and, uh, you know, you can get your free flu shots. Mm-hmm. 끝번호 9005 쓰시는 분이요. 전형적인 가을 하늘을 보는 아침입니다. 오늘도 행복한 하루 되세요. 라고 보내주셨어요. Yeah, it's a, you know, typical autumn weather that we're seeing right the now. The sky is beautiful. Did it you is. look up at the sky this morning? No. Uh, <laughs> straight, a, straight ahead <laughs> to work, huh? Tunnel vision. You had your horse, horse blinders on. Yeah. Uh, I looked up at the sky this morning. It's really pretty. Was it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Have a look. I, I need to really look around. Mm. <laughs> on Vloop says, Vloop 라는 아이디 쓰시는 분이요. Wow. 보라돌이 쌤 이라고 보내주셨습니다. Is that a reference to one of the um, uh, Teletubbies? There was, there was one Teletubby that was purple uh-huh. and we called him or her Boradori. Oh, uh, really? And they're calling me that today because I'm wearing purple. <laughs> Thank you. I like to be a Teletubby. The Teletubby <laughs> names are different in Korean than in English because there was Pinky Winky. Ah, uh, that would be very hard to say in Korean. Po was one of them. I think we had, yeah, I don't know. Actually, Maybe they I are different. It. My niece used to love that show. Really? Yeah, yeah. it was it was. It's really huge, wasn't it? Paul was saying the red one was named Paul. I see. And our writer would know, of course, because he is young at heart. <laughs> he is indeed. <laughs> okay. Well, if you'd like to listen to the headlines again, please do so by going to our website, Morning Special homepage. So, headline 다시 듣기 무료로 다시 들으실 수 있습니다. Let's go over the headlines. Headline number one this morning, the Nobel Prize in Economics was jointly awarded to Esther Duflo, Michael Kramer, and Abhijit Banerjee. 올해 노벨 경제학상의 영예는 Abhijit Banerjee 교수, Esther Duflo 교수, 그리고 마이클 크레이머 교수에게 돌아갔습니다. Yeah, it's interesting. Abhijit uh, Banerjee and Esther Duflo, they are from MIT, uh-huh. the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Yep. And Michael Kramer is a professor at Harvard University, mm. so they all all three of them work in a very close proximity sure. because Harvard and MIT are not very far away. Oh, really? I see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Harvard is in Boston and, Ca- and uh, Cambridge is home to MIT as mm. far as I know. I'd yeah. have to double check that. Uh-huh. Anyway, congratulations to all the three winners. Particularly, I would like to say Esther Duflo because she's only 46 years old mm-hmm. and she's only the second woman to win the economics prize and she's also the youngest in the prize's 50-year history. She was uh-huh. really surprised by the award. It's typically given out to older people, or at least mm. it has been in the past. The other winners, since you mentioned age, uh, Abhijit Banerjee is 58, as I understand it, uh, Michael Kramer, 55, so significantly younger, as you mentioned, but awarded 
uh, quite rightly so, for her contribution to to uh, easing poverty. Yeah, that's right. She's traveled widely in developing nations, testing out how to best alleviate pro uh, poverty. Mm. She was already well known on the economic circuit. She won the 2010 John Bates Clark Medal. That singles sure. out economists under 40 that have made the most significant contribution to economic thought and knowledge. It's mm. interesting, too, that there there's a relationship amongst these three people, <laughs> two of them anyway, right? Yeah, there is indeed. Abhijit Banerjee and Esther Duflo are a married couple. In fact, it was interesting to hear their phone interviews mm. uh, straight after the winners were announced. And you would think, you know, they're in the same house, they're a married couple, and they both won the prize together. They could maybe have this phone conversation together, mm -hmm. but no. Um, one was sleeping while the other one was on the phone, and you know, they had to you know, take some time going uh, around with those conversations. What a smart household that very, must very be, smart huh? Indeed. Well, yeah. you know, uh, as a result of their studies, more than five million Indian children have benefited from programs mm. uh, in schools, and there are still 700 million people still living in extreme poverty. Many children uh, leaving school without a basic education, so they'll continue to work on that, I'm sure. 네, 빈곤 퇴치 연 구에 기여한 공로가 인정이 돼서요. 어, 이렇게 세 명의 학자가 미국 대학에서 이제 교수를 하고 있는 세 명의 학자가 노벨 경제 학상을 수상하게 됐습니다. 그 중에서 두 분은 지금 말씀드린 것처럼 부부예요. 그래서 어, 전화 인터뷰를 할때 굉장히 재밌었습니다. 부부가 같이 통화를 하지 않고 따로 따로. 그래서 어, 왜 같이 통화 안 하세요?라고 그 인터뷰어 기자가 물어봤더니 아니 우리 각자 따로 따로 하겠습니다. 그러면서 따, 남편은 지금 다른 방에 있어요. 뭐 얘기를 하면서. 전화 끊고 그 다음에 다시 전화해서 또 이렇게 인터뷰를 하는 모습이 좀 인상적이었습니다. 어, 지금 말씀해 주신 것처럼 그리고 그 어, 여자 교수님이죠. Um, you, you mentioned that she has broken a few records. Esther Duffalo 교수 같은 경우에는 어, 최연소 수상자이기도 하고 그 다음에 여성 경제학상 수상자로서는 두 번째입니다. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. One of our listeners has written in about this headline. 끝번호 4296 쓰시는 분이요. 항상 좋은 방송 감사합니다. 어제 노벨 경제학상 확인하고 연구 내용이랑 최연소 또두 번째 여성 수상자라는 사실에 놀랐는데 바로 오늘 모닝 스페셜 1번 헤드라인으로 mm. 나왔네요. 우와! 오늘도 화이팅입니다. 이렇게 보내셨어요. Isn't it nice when you've read something and then you hear it again? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Makes you feel pretty good. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's go on to our second story. Syria's army has agreed to help Kurdish forces as they battle an intensifying Turkish assault in northern Syria. 터키의 공격을 받은 쿠르드족의 지원 요청에 시리아 정부가 터키 국경 지역에 병력을 배치했습니다. Right, so Turkey has embarked on major air and land offensive against the Syrian Democratic Forces or SDF as we've been seeing them called uh, in the news and we've talked about this uh, and we've seen this in the news a lot recently. But on Sunday, the Kurdish-led administration announced that it had reached a deal with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad mm. and that the Syrian government uh, troops would be deployed in the north in order to help fend off the Turkish attacks. 네, 그러니까 이제 며칠 전부터 우리가 계속해서 이 시리아 지역에 있는 또 터키와 쿠르드족 간의 그 대치 소식을 전해 드렸는데요. 사실은 이제 터키군이 훨씬 숫자적으로나 뭐 세력으로 보나 강했기 때문에 쿠르드족이 좀 약세인 것으로 보였습니다만 그에 대해서 어제 쿠르드족이 시리아 정부로부터 도움을 받을 수 있다라는 어 그런 얘기를 저, 소식이 전해지면서 이제는 정말 어떻게 보면은 훨씬 더 규모가 커지는 그 그런 대치로 볼수 있을 것 같습니다. The escalation right now that we're seeing is now not just going to be a simple one-sided attack from mm -hmm. Turkey to the Kurds. That's right. And this statement also added that the Syrian deployment would help to liberate areas held by Turkish backed, mm -hmm. that's right, Turkish backed Syrian rebel groups like Afrin, that's one, a city which was occupied as a result of the Turkish military operation in 2018. This situation is so 
utterly complicated. Mm. There are areas of Syria as well where, you know, Kurdish forces have said, okay, we will, we struck this deal with Damascus. We'll hand over the keys to certain areas. Mm -hmm. But other Kurd cities have not done that. Mm. And there were clashes with Syrian forces going on there. So it's, it's a, right. it's an incredibly complicated scenario. 네, 그렇습니다. 지금 이 업데이트된 소식은 그러니까 시리아의 정권이 터키 그 접경 지역에 있는 곳에다가 병력을 배치해서 쿠르드족을 돕겠다라는 내용이지만 모든 쿠르드족을 터키군이 돕는 것은 또 아니라고 지금 스티브 선생님이 설명을 해주셨어요. 상당히 복잡한 상황인데 그럼에도 불구하고 이제 시리아 정부군이 개입을 함으로 인해서 어뭐 러시아라든지 이란이 또 시리아의 아군 아니겠습니까? 그래서 그 국가들의 개입도 가능할 것이다. 뭐 이런 얘기들이 나오고 있거든요. We, we might see Russia and Iran intervening because they do back uh, Syria. Mm. And this is a surprise move, by the way, mm. uh, for the Kurdish forces because they were once the United States' main allies in the region. They've been fending off Islamic State militants alongside U.S. troops for years. So this is a bit of a surprise, this deal. I see. All right. Uh, 시리아 정부는 구체적인 내용은 공개하지 않았지만 그래도 터키 군에 맞설 것이다 이렇게 밝혔습니다. Let's go on to our next headline. Headline number three this morning: the death toll from Typhoon Hagibis in Japan continues to rise amid ongoing rescue efforts. 제 19호 태풍 하기비스로 인한 일본의 인명 피해 규모가 계속 커지고 있습니다. So Typhoon Hagibis uh, was in Japan over the weekend. More than 89 centimeters of rain fell in mm. some places. Catastrophic flooding in certain communities as well. And Japanese uh, broadcaster NHK they reported that the death death toll, excuse me, from the storm is now at more than 50 people. But that number could still continue to rise. Mm. Uh, the water continues to recede from residential areas so some of the flooded uh, spots have not been checked out yet so that mm -hmm. number like i said might continue to rise mm -hmm. 어, 계속해서 이제 사망자 통계 집계가 업데이트 되고 있는데요. 지금까지 제가 가지고 있는 소식 통에 따르면은 어, 사망자 58명까지 집계가 됐다고 합니다. It looks like an hour ago that figure was different. Yeah. Two hours ago it was different. It's going up as we speak. Up to 58 from 58 7 a.m. 네, mm. 오늘 아침 7시를 기준으로 지금 사망자가 58명인 것으로 집계가 됐습니다. 동일본 지역을 중심으로 한 11개 현에 이렇게 분포가 된 것으로 그렇게 알려지고 있습니다. This typhoon is the most powerful to hit Japan mm. since 1958. Wow. That puts things in perspective, mm. doesn't it? And in, in terms of the cost, the cost of this storm is not really going to be clear for weeks because, as we said, the death toll continues to rise. Numbers are still coming in, and they mm. won't know how much the, the cleanup is going to cost yeah. uh, for this. But overall, global costs from hurricane and typhoon damage have ballooned in recent years. In 2017, Atlantic hurricanes cost 230 billion dollars in damages wow. last year typhoons in the pacific mm -hmm. caused record amounts of damage in asian countries topping 30 billion dollars <웃음> it is not cheap to clean up after these tragic events 네 지금 스티브 선생님이 1958년 이후 가장 큰 규모의 태풍이었다고 설명을 해 주셨는데요. 실제로 이제 하천이 범람한 곳이 워낙 많았었기 때문에 많은 지역이 침수됐었습니다. 그래서 지금 계속 이제 피해 지역 곳곳에서 시신이 발견 되고 있다라는 안타까운 소식이 전해지고 있습니다. Okay, let's go on to our next headline. Uh, Spain's Supreme Court has sentenced nine Catalan separatist leaders to up to 13 years in prison for sedition. 스페인 정부 어, 스페인 대법원이 카탈루니아 지방의 분리 독립을 추진했던 전 카탈루니아 자치 정부 지도부의 중형을 선고했습니다. So Catalan nationalists they have complained for a very long time that their region which has a very distinct history of their own dating yeah. back uh, almost a thousand years mm -hmm. they complained that they send too much money to poorer parts of Spain because taxes are controlled by Madrid. Mm. That area is a very wealthy region. It's home to about seven and a half million people. They have their own language. They yeah. have their own parliament. They have their own flag. And they have mm. their own anthem. 
And now uh, there was this 2017 independence referendum, and the most recent news is that Spain's Supreme Court has sentenced nine of those separatist leaders related to that 2017 independence mm. referendum to between nine and 13 years in prison. 네, 2017년 어, 그때 10월이었습니다. 그러니까 정확히 한 2년 정도가 됐는데요. 그때 당시에 이제 카탈루니아가 독립을 하기 위한 움직임을 굉장히 크게 했습니다. 그러면서 주민 투표를 실시했거든요. 근데 그 주민 투표를 스페인에서는 반대를 했었기 때문에 어떤 형식으로 했었냐면은 주민들에게 집에 가서 어 그냥 그 투표지를 직접 만들어 오세요. 어 여러분이 뭐 종이에 그냥 뭐 프린트를 하든 이렇게 해서 가져와서 그 다음에는 우리가 얼마나 지금 카탈루니아 사람들이 독립을 원하는지 보겠습니다. 라고 이제 카탈로니아 독립 지도부에서 얘기를 한 것인데 스페인에서는 이것을 불법 투표, 어, 불법 행동으로 본 것이고요. 이렇게 한 것에 대해서 이제서야 어, 13년, 이제 9년에서 13년 형의 징역형을 선고를 했는데 이 중심 인물이 됐던 그 인물들에 대해서 이렇게 형을 선고한 것입니다. Now 13 years is is a lot of time, obviously, but you mentioned the word sedition yeah. in your headline. Right. Had that been rebellion, I think that would have been more. Yeah, it would have been a lot more in terms of a year, a years spent in prison, I think. Uh, sedition is behavior or speech that incites people to rebel. Mm. And the people uh, in question here, some of the uh, 12 leaders that held prominent positions in Catalonia's government and parliament, mm -hmm. and others were influential activists, others were cultural advocates. So that's what they were accused of, is that behavior or that speech that caused caused people to rebel uh, in this case. 네, 그렇습니다. 이렇게 9년에서 13년형이 선고된 배경에는 sedition이라고 하는 그러니까 폭동을 선동했다. 이게 가장 큰 죄로 스페인 정부가 대법원이 본 것입니다. 어, 그런데 만약에 이것을 반란, rebellion이라고 봤다라고 하면은 25년형이 내려질 수 있었다고 해요. 그래서 이제 스페인 대법원의 판결이 이렇게 나온 것에 대해서 스페인에서는 너무 적다. 이렇게 보고 있는 것 같고요. 카탈로니아에서는 지금 시위가, 어, 바로 뭐 일어나고 있다라는 소식이 전해지고 있습니다. And a lot of people are in support of this uh, as well because after the verdicts came out thousands of Catalan independent supporters they marched in Barcelona, they mm. blocked off some streets and also blocked off some access to metro stations. Mm -hmm. And even back in September uh, there was a march in Barcelona in support of Catalonia's independence from Spain that drew drew crowds of about 600,000 people. That's a lower turnout than their 8-year a uh, history of the annual rally, but still right. a large number. Right, indeed. Okay, we're going to leave that headline there, but before we go on to our final headline, we have a message coming in from Japan. 이미에 님이요. 제가 지금 일본 거주 중인데요. 다행히 저희 집 근처는 괜찮지만 버스 차고지도 침수가 돼서 버스 운행도 언제부터 가능할지 모르겠습니다. 이런 태풍은 처음이에요. 이렇게 보내주셨습니다. Mm. Yet yeah, so much flooding. Transportation has just been come to a, just come to a halt. And uh, yeah, apparently it is very dire well, like over I, in Japan. Like I said, the strongest since the late 1950s. Yeah, mm. 그렇습니다. 아직까지도 상황이 어찌 될지 모른다고 하니 굉장히 심각하네요. 자, 마지막 헤드라인으로 가보겠습니다. Conservative law professor Kai Said has beaten his contender in Tunisia's presidential election runoff. 네, 튀니지 대선 결선 투표에서 카이스 사이드 후보의 압승이 확실시 됐습니다. It is pretty much clear because he's uh, exit poll shows yeah. 70%. Exactly. We should kind of reword that, right? Yeah, he is yeah. set to become Tunisia's next president. Mm. This was a landslide victory yes. in Sunday's vote. Uh, he's a former law professor. He's 61 years old and he did very well. He secured 73% of votes in the runoff elections. Uh, the exit polls they came out and shortly after that that's when he appeared in front of a very very happy crowd of supporters yeah, it, you know it's interesting because a lot of news outlets called him an outsider because he's a newbie to politics 
He is an indep- he was an independent candidate. Mm-hmm. He didn't even do interviews. Well, he, um, yeah, he well, not many anyway. Yeah, he was he was a, a, a constitutional law professor at the mm. at a university in Tunis. He retired in 2018, and before he started his political career in that year, 2018, he was relatively unknown. But mm. they attribute part of his success to the fact that he's very stoic. He's very and also squeaky clean. He's yeah. Uh, so they expect a very clean government mm, from mm. him. His nickname is RoboCop. Ah, I see. Because of his mannerisms and how serious he looks. Right. What was also interesting was that a lot of youngsters voted this time around, and he got a lot of support from them. As I mentioned earlier on, he didn't do a lot of interviews, but he was active on social media, reaching out to the youngsters and calling for a reform, something that someone as as clean as himself would be able to. Do. Do with, mm-hmm. you know with the corruption uh, going on in Tunisia? 네, 그래서 이제 튀니지의 대통령이 어, 뭐 카이스 사이드 후보로 거의 확실시 된다라는 소식을 지금 전해드렸는데요. 어, 추구 조사에 따르면 한 70% 이상의 투표. You talked about how popular he was with yeah. young young people, 18 to 25 year olds that voted for him. Mm-hmm. 90% of that age group voted for him. Wow. Yeah. 네. 아, 득표율이 지금 73%까지 집계가 됐다고 하니까요. 뭐 거의 확실하다라고 보면 되겠네요. Well, those are our headlines for this morning. Let's remind our listeners for uh, of the headline, right? Of the quiz. Sorry. Mm. Question this morning. Vaccines are given to people to strengthen their blank system. Number one, immune. Number two, computer. Mm-hmm. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드릴게요. We're going to take a song break. This is Enrique Iglesias. Be with you and we'll be right back. I hope you just want to be with us. And this morning, I'm with Steve Hatherley, and you're listening to Morning Special. This is a, is it a Tuesday today, Steve? Tuesday, I, yeah, it's I Tuesday. I forget what day of the week. Fifteenth, fifteenth <laughs> day of the month. We <laughs> Thank are you. cruising through October. Yes, we are. 공칠공칠님이요 아침마다 잘 듣고 있습니다. 빠른 대화는 아직 안 들려서 똑당해요라고 보내셨어요. Oh my goodness. If you want to listen to me speak slowly, I can speak in Korean. 아침마다 잘 듣. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> 속상해요를 이분이. I know 속상하다. Ah, that's what it is. But with a, a like a, a babyish pronunciation, you say 똑당해요. Ah, so. 일부러 그렇게 보내신 거 같아요. 속상하다 is 똑당 <laughs> when you do it in the. In like the baby tone, the egg yolk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. really bad at that. How's so. your egg yolk? Not good. No. Is yours? Okay. It's amazing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 독감 <know>. <laughs> 예방 주사 꼭 맞고 건강한 겨울 보내요라고 보내주셨습니다. 예, 저희가 아, 조금 천천히 대화하도록 하겠습니다. 조현숙님이요, I am 78 years old. I'm going to get a shot today. Thanks. Mm. 이렇게 보내셨어요. Yeah, that's re- that's really useful information that you shared. Mm. About getting the free flu shot. Yes, mm. indeed. Namgaram Nimio, good morning, Samder. Modu Kamgi Joshimaseo, Jodo Influenza, Yabang Job Jong Bajiro Guyo, Hashasmida. Yeah, I mean, things like uh, this. Sometimes, because you don't know there's a free flu shot, you yeah. miss it. But now you know. Exactly. And if you know, then you can go get one if, you, if you're so inclined, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you for all of your messages. Keep sending those in. Also, quiz answers as well as any questions you might have during the show. We have five dogboki sets waiting for their new owners. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at our first news focus story. 어, 첫 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 미국 텍사스에서 가정집에 있던 흑인 여성이 백인 경찰관의 총에 맞아 숨지는 사건이 발생했습니다. 이번 사건은 지난해 자신의 아파트에서 총에 맞아 숨진 흑인 회계사 보탐진 사건을 떠올리게 하는데요. Let's listen to the story. 
A Fort Worth, Texas police officer did not announce that he was an officer before firing a single shot fatally striking a Tatiana Jefferson who was inside her home watching her eight-year-old nephew. Fort Worth police released body cam footage soon after the incident Saturday showing officers with flashlights and guns drawn scanning the perimeter of the home. As officers continue to walk through the property, one of them sees a person standing at a dark window and yells, put your hands up, show me your hands, before firing a single shot. The officer, who has not been identified, has been placed on administrative leave. Nee,孙彩军一段,米国强彩,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一段,一
Page has remained unconscious since the hit and run incident. <목소리> 네, 이 카자흐스탄 국적의 A 씨가 지난달 16일 어, 경남 창원에서 초등학생인 어, 아이를 승용차로 치고 달아난 혐의를 받았는데요. 도주를 했었지만 자진 또 입국을 했습니다. So it does seem like he has returned voluntarily. Yes. He doesn't speak Korean very well, so investigation is ongoing. Mm -hmm. 어, 불법 체류자였기 때문에 뭐, 뭐, 운전면허증도 당연히 없었던 것으로 어, 이 정도가 밝혀졌고요. 의사소통의 문제 때문에 아직까지는 뭐더 많이 밝혀진 바는 없습니다. 근데 이제 경찰 조사를 통해서 밝혀질 것으로 보여집니다. So, he was extradited. He was extradited. Before we get to that term, though, we mm -hmm. should mention that as of 6.30 a.m. this morning, yep. Uh, the update for the little boy's health, he is recovering well. Mm. He got discharged from intensive care. We're not sure if he is awake yet, 아, uh, but that is the latest update that we 음. have on his health. 네, 어, 이 초등학생이 오늘 아침에 들어온 업데이트에 따르면 은 중환자실에서는 이제 나온 것으로 일반 어, 병동으로 들어간 것으로 전해지고 있습니다. So when you are extradited, 음. it means that you are removed from one country and brought back to the the place where something happened when yep. they want you to come back. Korea wanted mm. this man to come back from Kazakhstan. Uh, they had uh, formal talks about getting him back yeah. here, and the government agreed, yes, we will extradite him, we will return him to your country. Mm. Korean pl police, Interpol, mm -hmm. and many other officials tried to convince him to come back, and he did eventually. Yes. 자, extradite 그러면 이제 보통 인도하다 라는 뜻이 있습니다. And he fled the scene back in September. Right, so fled is the past tense of the word flee, mm. and flee, F L E E, means to run away. Mm -hmm. So fled the scene means ran away from the scene. 그렇죠. 현장에서 달아나다. 그러니까 여기서 뺑소니 사고를 뜻하는 게 되겠습니다. I think 뺑소니 사고 is hit and run mm -hmm. in English, right? And that's our next term to, to ah, learn. Ah, there you go. Mm. <laughs> So, no more explanation needed? Oh, yeah. or, head, head and mm, run is mm. when, it, well, it can be very serious, as is the case here, mm. or it could just be if you bump into a car, you know, that's um, parked, yeah. and then you leave. Yeah, huh? That's also considered a hit and run, as 그쵸? far as I know. Mm. Uh, yeah, you cause an accident, and mm. then you run away from the scene. 네, 뺑소니 사고를 영어로는 말 그대로 치고 달아났다라는 hit와 run이 들어간 hit, hyphen, and hyphen run, 이렇게 어, 써서요. Hit and run accident. 아니면 incident 라는 표현을 씁니다. Okay, let's listen to this story one more time. Police detained a Kazakh man Monday after he was extradited from Kazakhstan over his suspected involvement in a hit and run case, resulting in the serious injury of an elementary school boy in South Gyeongsang province last month. The 20 year old man is suspected of hitting the seven year old first grade boy on a road in the southeastern city of Changwon around 3 30 p.m. on September 16th and fled the scene before returning home via Uzbekistan the next day. The boy, who sustained a cerebral hemorrhage, has remained remained unconscious since the hit and run incident. Yeah, 참고로 이 extradite라는 단어는 우리가 홍콩 소식을 전하면서도 많이 들었었죠. Extradition oh, yeah. law. Right. 그 범죄인 인도 법안에서도 그 인도라는 단어가 extradition이라는 표현으로 쓰였습니다. Okay, let's remind our listeners of the quiz. Vaccines are given to people who st uh, to strengthen their blank system. I'll read the question one more time. Mm -hmm. Vaccines are given to people to strengthen their blank system. Fill in the blank. Number one, immune. Number two, computer. 네, 정답 아시는 분들은 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 어, 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스, 플러스는 무료로 이용 가능합니다. 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 어, 떡볶이 세트 보내드릴게요. 노래 듣고 와서 세 번째 뉴스 포커스 보겠습니다. This is Jennifer Lopez, Ain't It Funny. 자, 다음 뉴스 포커스 살펴볼게요. 100m에 육박하는 세계 최대 성모 마리아상이 필리핀 천주교 전파 500주년인 2021년 완성될 전망입니다. 이 마리아상에는 지금도 관광객들의 발길이 끊이지 않는다고 하는데요. Let's listen to the story. The 
The biggest statue in the world of the Virgin Mary, located at the Monte Maria pilgrimage site in Batangas City in the Philippines, will see its completion within the next two years. Expected to be concluded in 2021 to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines, the mother of all Asia will then be the tallest statue of the Virgin Mary in the world, a position now occupied by the Venezuelan 47-meter tall Our Lady of Peace statue, which was built in 19. 83. Standing at almost 100 meters tall, the monument will house a St. John Paul II shrine, 12 Marian chapels in the third floor, a food hall on the fourth, many theaters and conference rooms, commercial and residential spaces, and is crowned with a viewing deck on the 17th floor. Okay, well, it's going to be the biggest of its kind uh, when it comes to Maria mm. statues. Indeed. This is going to be a place that people can live. Mm. Residential spaces. Wow. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah, 네, 그렇습니다. It's Virgin a... Mary라고 하는 이제 성모 마리아 상. Yep. 와, 굉장히 큰 거, 클 것으로 지금. Yeah, I think this is what it's going to look like I when see. it is completed. Uh, I'm not sure how much of the structure is completed now, mm -hmm. but it's going to be huge wow. and probably be a major tourist attraction, I would sure. think, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's going to be completed or its completion is expected within the next two years. Yes, completed means finished. So in the year 2021, that's the plan. Mm. The uh, statue will see its completion or it will be completed. 네, 그렇죠. See its completion 그러면 완성된다 라는 뜻인데요. 영어로 이제 좀 어, 팬시하게 표현을 한 것입니다. It will be completed 해도 돼요. 그렇지만 yeah. it will see its completion 그러면은 조금 더 이제 고급스러운 표현이 if, 되겠습니다. And if you want to speak like me, mm -hmm. you would say it'll be finished. It will be finished in 2021. 네. But there are fancier ways to say things, and that's nice too. <웃음> yes. 자, 그래서 뭐 완성이라는 뜻은 잘 알고 계실 거고요. 이렇게 이 단어를 사용한다는 그 용법을 같이 기억해 주시면 좋겠습니다. Now, currently, the tallest Virgin Mary statue in the world is in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And that is 47 meters tall. It's called Our Lady of Peace. And it currently occupies the position of tallest Virgin Mary in the world. Mm. So to occupy, in the context of the article, it's used a little mm, differently than yeah. I think we use it every day because we're talking mm -hmm. about uh, job titles or positions or right. things like that, which mm -hmm. I'll explain in just a sec. But okay. first... Mm. Let me give you an easy example. If you are sitting in a restaurant with your friend, and mm -hmm. then your friend goes to the washroom, mm -hmm. and someone comes up and asks, oh, I'm sorry, can I take this chair? Mm. You can say, no, I'm sorry, that's occupied. Ah, okay. And occupied means someone or something is using it. Mm. Uh, you can talk about a building, mm -hmm. uh, residential space or commercial space. Mm. You could say, uh, I'm, I'm interested in renting a space. Is the fourth floor currently occupied, mm -hmm. meaning is someone using it right now. 그렇죠. 차지하다라는 의미가 있기 때문에 어 지금 이 자리 좀 의자 좀 가져가도 돼요? 라고 할때아 아니요 여기 자리 있어요. 우린 뭐 이렇게 표현을 하지만 영어에서는 이 의자를 차지한 사람이 있습니다. 이런 식으로 얘기를 해요. 그래서 this seat is occupied 라고 합니다. I have the easiest example. Yeah. Bathrooms. Look, oh yeah! Look at the thing. 맞아요. Right. I forgot. Occupied. Ah. Not, yeah, it means somebody's in there, right? 네, 외국에 나가셨을 때 공중 화장실에 그렇게 화장실 문이 잠기면 빨간색으로 변하면서 글씨가 occupied 이렇게 mm. 돼 있을 겁니다. Uh, so I mentioned here that we're talking about a position, right? Mm. So we can talk about this with jobs too. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, the position is. I'm, I would like to apply for the job of mm. news person on morning special. <웃음> I would say. Uh -uh, that position is currently <웃음> occupied. <웃음> 네, 그렇습니다. 그 자리는 내가 차지했거든. 이런 의미로 it is currently occupied 라고 할수 있겠고요. 현재 가장 높은 성모 마리아 상은 베네수엘라에 있다고 하는데 2021년이 되면은 필리핀에 있는 성모 마리아 상이 가장 높을 거라고 합니다. Should we look at one more? Yeah, sure. So I mentioned all of the things that are going to be in this, the mm. St. John Paul II Shrine, the Marian Chapels, the Food Hall, the mini theaters, commercial and residential spaces. Mm -hmm. uh, the monument will house mm. 
all of those things. Right. It's not house. Exactly. That was the first thing I was going to say. It's yeah. not pronounced house. It's mm. pronounced house, mm. like a Z sound. And what it means is those things are in there. Good. I'll give you an easy example. The Lotte Tower. Mm -hmm. What's in there? Theater, shopping malls, restaurants. Exactly. So many things. Aquarium. Aquarium, yeah. Yep. So you can say the Lotte Tower houses uh -huh. a movie theater, an aquarium, and plenty of restaurants to 음. eat at. 네, 수용하다 또는 안에 뭐뭐가 있다라는 뜻의 house인데요. 이렇게 동사로 쓰일 때는 발음이 house가 아니라 house라는 거 기억해 주시면 되겠습니다. All right. Well, let's uh, listen to this story one more time. The biggest statue in the world of the Virgin Mary, located at the Monte Maria pilgrimage site in Batanga City in the Philippines, will see its completion within the next two years. Expected to be concluded in 2021 to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines, the Mother of All Asia will then be the tallest statue of the Virgin Mary in the world, a position now occupied by the Venezuelan 47-meter tall Our Lady of Peace statue, which was built in 1983. Standing at almost 100 meters tall, the monument will house a St. John Paul II shrine, 12 Marian chapels in the third floor, a food hall on the fourth, many theaters and conference rooms, commercial and residential spaces, and is crowned with a viewing deck on the 17th floor. It's time now to check the answer to the quiz. Quiz. Oh, goodness. Vaccines Thank you. are given to people to strengthen <laughs> their... Give me some time. <laughs> You're like my mom. When, my, when I was a child and my mom said, Steve, can you wash the dishes? And I would say, yes. If I waited 10 seconds, mom would say, oh, fine. I'll do it myself. And I said, mom, you just asked me 10 I'm seconds ago. I'm just helping you out, Steve. <laughs> I'm teasing. Thank <laughs> right. you. Yes, vaccines was the answer. Yes, 네, 그래서 uh, immune system Oh, was immune the was the answer. <laughs> I was just reading the question out again. Oh, right. <laughs> 자, 그래서 면역 체계를 우리가 uh, 좀 향상시키기 위해서 예방 접종을 맞죠. 그래서 1번이 정답이고요. Congratulations, Bob Matt, 최영일 님, 김순복 님, 0707 님, 그리고 장소향 님 떡볶이 세트 보내 드리겠습니다. One of our listeners, Kwak Eunmi nim writes in saying, "Steve 선생님, your explanations are so good. They're so easy to understand. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes they're terrible, though. No, they're always great. <laughs> well, in that light, give us a Steve Sim style expression of the day. Sure. Uh, let's go with the one that we kind of started the show with today. Better to be safe than sorry. Mm. We gave the examples of flu shots. Yeah. The reason you get a flu shot is so that you will not get the flu. Mm. If you did not get that shot, you might regret it later. And the regret is the sorry part of the this explanation, right? Mm. The safe part is so you do something so you don't regret it later. Yep, Easy absolutely. example, when it rains or you think it will rain, what do you bring? If it's cloudy outside, what do you bring with you? Umbrella. Why? Just in, Just case. in case. Just in case it rains. Oh, you have your umbrella with you today. Yep. Better to be safe than sorry. 네, 오늘의 expression이 바로 better to be safe than sorry가 되겠습니다. 굳이 우리식 속담을 이 영어 속담에 맞게 좀 변형을 한다면은 소 잃기 전에 외양간 고치기 이렇게 <laughs> 이런 게 되겠습니다. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, so it's sort of like the opposite of no use crying over spilt milk. Yeah, kind of. Well, no? a little bit different. Let me give you another example. Why do you get travel insurance? Because you might get into an accident or something might happen overseas. Just in case. Just in case. Better okay, to be safe than sorry. It's 알겠습니다. always a just in case 아, scenario. 혹시 몰라서 어, 준비를 해야 된다라는 의미로 better to be safe than sorry. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Steve. You're very welcome. Have a great Tuesday. Yeah. I'll and see you back tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Well, let's listen to a song. And of course, coming up in hour two, we have Say What and Music with Denny. So we'll get to that with uh, Donna Summer. She works too hard for the money.